Hey gang, Matt with Atlas Precision Consulting. Uh, in this video, we're gonna do a real quick explanation on how to validate open orders. Uh, it's basically releasing credit holds. Um, we're in the validate open orders. Uh, if you have multiple companies, you would have to select which company uh, you're doing this for. Uh, most people only have one company in their P21. You look it up by the actual customer number and you'll notice that the start date uh, goes back to the beginning of time, uh, 1990. Uh, basically, if you only wanted to look at the most current, you could change that to say, you know, the starting of the current month you're in. Uh, but by default, it's going to go back all the way till 1990 and find every order that is currently on hold. Um, you'll see down at the bottom here, here's all the open orders. Here's the open value. Again, ignore the zero dollars. This is a test system. Uh, and, and so you have two options. One, you can release individual orders uh, by just messing with the validation status next to e uh, either one. You can change it to approved, which would allow you then to go print a pick ticket for it. You could also change it to COD if your company uh, uses uh, COD as a acceptable method of payment. Um, now, if you had a bunch of orders that came in for a customer and you know they're going on a hold because you're dealing with something or accounting is dealing with something, you can simply come to the validation all and you can set all to approve all. Now, if you accidentally click that and you're like, no, I don't want to, you can always come back here and reset all and it puts them all back on hold. Uh, so essentially all you do is we're going to approve all of these. We're going to say approve all. We're going to hit save. Um, this is something else to keep in mind that uh, when an order and hold, it may not uh, have inventory allocated to it. Um, so this is asking, do you want to allocate uh, items with the disposition of hold if, if the items are set to hold. Um, this is in relation to the item disposition, not the header disposition. Um, you're probably going to want to say yes because you're going to want to uh, allocate anything you can to these orders to ship them. Uh, if you say no and the lines have a disposition of hold, they won't allocate. Uh, we're going to say yes in this case. Um, again, just another warning. Do you have to, it, since this is from before today's date, uh, you have to recalculate the promise date because obviously these orders that I'm overriding are much older. So that promise date's not going to be a valid promise date. After that, you'll see the save was successful. Um, if we come in here and pull in the same customer number again, you'll see a pop up here that there are no uh, records to be overridden. Um, Again, it's a pretty simple video. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I just thought it would help uh, to put it out there in case you had some questions. Uh, if you do have questions about this or you want to see videos on anything else, put a comment down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. And always, Atlas will be here for your P21 needs.